Uh, students are experiencing sudden cardiac arrest in the Barry area, very high rate uh, if you consider it in Canada. This is the, some of the information we've collected. Sudden cardiac arrests. In all of Canada, we should have approximately 7.6 per year. In the Barry area, in 2008, a 10-year-old girl died in the gym class that had Wi-Fi in the school. In 2009, a 13-year-old boy was revived. He now wears a pacemaker. In 2010, a 15-year-old boy was revived with CPR. In Mountain View School, there's a 12-year-old boy who has tachycardia, which is a rapid heart rate. There's a 12-year-old girl that experiences nausea, vomiting, no fever, insomnia, blurred vision, and tachycardia, and she experiences this only in the classroom. There's a 13-year-old boy who experiences uh, a pounding heart, insomnia, headaches. He's now moved away and all of his symptoms have abated. There's a six-year-old girl who's got, quote, a musical heart. She has headaches, dizziness, and only at experienced at school. Did you know that there's an increase in sudden cardiac deaths among youth in the United States? This is a study that came out just a few years ago in 2009, and what the study shows is they compare two different time periods, 1980 to 1993 is one time period, 1994 to 2006 is a second time period. And during that period, there was a 6% increase in the rate of sudden cardiac deaths each year. The doctors and the scientists doing this research have no idea what's causing it. And these are among very healthy, fit kids that are um, athletes. Did you know that 2.4 gigahertz, the same frequency that we are exposed to with Wi-Fi, causes tachycardia, a rapid heart rate? I'm just going to show you two different graphs of people that we tested. Uh, this is subject A, and this is showing their heart rate variability. This is 58 beats a minute, 56 beats a minute, and 58 beats a minute. During interval two, they were exposed to a cordless phone at 2.4 gigahertz, and they didn't respond. So this person is a non-responsive subject. This is another subject. This is their heart rate during the different intervals, 68, 122 beats per minute, happening instantly, dropping down to 66, going up to 129. This is when this particular person was exposed. And you can see you don't have to be a cardiologist in order to interpret what is happening in this particular graph. The interesting thing is this is a responsive subject, and they were exposed to levels of radiation that are 0.3% of safety code 6. They're below 1% of our safety code, and their heart reacted instantly as soon as we exposed them to the radiation. This is a study that was published in 1969. Okay, we've known this for a very long time. And I'm going to quote from one of the articles in this particular study. In the interest of occupational hygiene, many Soviet investigators and at least one U.S. researcher have recommended the cardiovascular abnormalities be used as a screening criteria to exclude people from occupationally involved radiofrequency exposure. I think we should use this on students. Students should be screened each year at school to ensure that they do not have an underlying heart condition that may be exacerbated by Wi-Fi.